Yo, 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 what's good, what's good? It's your boy Mike Ricks, a.k.a. Panther Mike 7 Carolina Mike 7 Follow your boy on Twitter at Mike Rick 7 Don't forget to like, subscribe, share to my YouTube channel. I'm also part of the NFC South versus the NFL. Want to talk about a little updates on the Carolina Panthers, baby? Um, Kyle Allen will be our starter going into week eight. And I am glad and okay with that. Um, Cam, take as long as you need, my brother, because your job is still going to be there. I don't care what none of them saying. Um, use this fuel. Use it as fuel. Anyway, this ain't about them. I'll talk about that a little later in another video. But uh, I'm going to give you all updates, man, on what's going on with the Carolina Panthers. So there was a lot of trade noise. Oh, Carolina Panthers looking at A.J. Green. Oh, Carolina Panthers looking at Devontae Parker. Oh, Carolina Panthers are looking at Emmanuel Sanders. Well, who are we going to get? I don't think we're going to get any of them. Um, and today, Emmanuel Sanders was signed by the 49ers. Go figure, right? But, you know, Shanahan has ties with Elway. We all know that, so... He got him for a third and fourth rounder next year, and he received him in a fifth rounder for next year. Strange, but hey, they went after what they needed. So this is what we did, and I really like this. I know a lot of y'all like, what, what, what? Y'all got to understand about me, man. I am about not Madden, not fantasy, not any of that stuff. I am about football. I'm about chemistry. I'm about continuity. I'm about hungry guys. I'm about a good balance of star players with with young, talented, hungry players um, or and veteran guys also. So when I heard the news that we were going to go after guys, the only one that I saw was like, you know, all these contracts are coming up, man. I believe AJ Green is in a contract year where his contract's coming up next year. Um, that means we have to pay him buku of money. Same with Emmanuel Sanders. I'm not about that right now. I don't want to pay anybody. I'm going to be real with you. I, want, I like where we are with the cap. I don't think it's a necessity, even though Hogan's going to be out for a while. I think the potential answer is on the roster. And guess what we did? We made a couple moves. One, we brought DeAndre White from the practice squad onto the active squad. Now, I like this guy. I liked him in preseason. We just didn't have enough room to keep him. He's an Alabama guy. He played with Amari Cooper. Um, hasn't really stuck anywhere. He was with us, the 49ers. I think it was in Houston, a lot of other places. But uh, the, the guy is serviceable. We don't need anybody to come out there and be a stud star receiver that's going to be like the fifth or fourth on the depth chart. We just don't need that. That's something that Carolina Panthers run the ball, and we move the chains. And we run the ball and we move the chains. Now, if DJ Moore or Curtis Samuel or somebody like that got injured, then that's different. But as of right now, no, we don't need that. I like where we are with receivers. Um, we let go of Ray Ray. Ray Ray! I know that's old yesterday's news. Ray Ray, bye-bye. I ain't even mad at that, dog. Um, best of luck wherever you land. I think you went back to Buffalo or somewhere like that, practice squad. You went to the Buffalo Panthers. <laughs> but um, hey, you can't hold on to the ball, man. If you can't hold on to the ball, you can't play. I'm sorry about that. But I do love this steal that we got, man. This kid, I'm I'm from the Carolina, so I watched this kid in Wake Forest. Greg Dutch, I messed that all up, man. But this kid here, yeah, man, is like a human joystick. He's ridiculous with that stop and go and jerk and all of that, man. If he gets his hands on the ball and get a little crease, he got some speed, quickness, stop on a dime. He can make it look stupid, man. So all he needs to do is hold on to the ball. 
Do not fumble and drop and lose this ball. As long as you can do that, you will have a job as a punt returner for the Carolina Panthers. And he is pretty lethal uh, at receiver, too. He's small, about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, but don't let that fool you, man. He got some hands that he can run routes. He's talented, so he can get in space. He's a problem. But um, that's the guy we got. Also got Braxton Miller. We added him to the practice squad. So, you know, we'll see. It's a work in progress. But that's about the Carolina Panther news I I have right now. Um, and about the receivers, just want to mention them a little bit because uh, I do think that they could have impact, especially a punt return. I think and kickoff return. I think he has a lot of potential. I'm surprised that Jets didn't even activate him and they tried to sneak him on the practice squad. Because as sorry as they are, they could have definitely used this kid. But we'll take him anyway. This your boy Mike Ricks, man. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff, man. I'm about to come back with a few more videos, y'all. I know I've been slack. Um, I had food poisoning. Please forgive me. It was terrible. Terrible. Um, terrible. I'm only eating my wife and mama and mother-in-law been cooking. I ain't eating fast food no more, ever, probably in life, unless it's Chick-fil-A. Um for that Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> anyway, man, once again, man, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, man. Follow your boy, Mike Ricks. Keep pounding. I'm out.